risen. Hallelujah. To him be glory and power all the ages of eternity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, of all this day, through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal wrought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. A 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, see what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in reading the, the sequence. You may be following the um, second reading in your miscellaneous. Christians, to the past of the victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep for these. Christ, to the only descendants, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat to sinners. The prince of life who died remains in the world. See, Mary, declaring what you saw when you saw the word of Mary. The living Christ is the living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and neck in resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is risen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen. Our new life obtaining. Have mercy to be the King ever reigning. Amen. Hallelujah. Our responsibility is Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Morning. Morning. First of all, let me on behalf of Father Soche, Deacon Jim Bullock, and myself wish each of you a very blessed and happy Easter this year. Then the stone moved, the earth shakes, and birds start singing. The sun shines, the earth warms, for new life it's bringing. These are the words of the chorus of a song I learned 50 years ago in a youth choir in a small Baptist church in a small town in Arkansas. The name of that song is The Night Before Easter, written by the late Donnie Summer. And it's part of the inspiration for our reflection today. What is it about the movement of a stone that is so important that it's brought out by all four gospel writers. Was this movement simply to allow Jesus to leave the tomb? The stone moved. The Apostle Matthew provides for us a little more detail. 
he wrote, Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. Matthew has given us more information than the other three Gospels, including this morning's Gospel we read just a few moments ago. But the movement of the stone is in each case a point that stands out. In Jesus' time, a stone rolled across the entrance of the tomb, just as the closing of the casket in our time signals the finality of death. Did we know that Jesus had predicted that he would rise no less than six times throughout Scripture? For just a moment, let us move a little further forward on the timeline of Jesus' resurrection. Luke's Gospel brings us the story of two disciples on the road to Emmaus, in which Jesus meets and talks with these two as they journey along the road. Scripture tells us, Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. John's Gospel speaks of two occasions when disciples were behind closed and locked doors, and Jesus came and stood among them. These passages tell us that something different, possibly something supernatural, has come on the scene. Yes, indeed, something new, something different has happened. Jesus' resurrection was about the coming of a new and uniquely different life. This was, in the words of Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger from his book, Jesus of Nazareth, The Holy Week, the last and highest evolutionary leap, the union of the finite with the infinite, the union of man and God. This is where we find the new, the different beginning, a step beyond the incarnation. Jesus, the risen Jesus, the glorified Jesus, did not need the stone to be moved any more than he needed the doors to be unlocked in the upper room. The stone rolled away, meant that the stones of sin, doubt, and disbelief have now been cleared, opening the path to salvation for all of mankind. Here was the proof for all to see that this man, Jesus, was and is all he claimed to be all that had been foretold. <coughs> the last verse of the song that we started our reflection with today says these words. The king of all ages, the giver of life, for a moment lies silent and still. But a power sent from heaven comes breaking the night and death must bow to his will. The stone has been rolled away. He is risen. Hallelujah. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Let us stand. Dear brethren, through the Paschal mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried? rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. 
Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? Amen. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Coming together as one family of faith, let us offer to God now our prayers and our needs. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle. Let us pray to the Lord. And for Deacon Charlie Groves, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude by asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy
our God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Turn to the earth and work with human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord said to the Lord, and the praise of the Lord is His name, for our good and the Lord is His name. And exalted with practical gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim your Lord, but on this day above all to love yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with possible joy every line of your people and salt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, most high in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all who have created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, the day to be come with the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving to you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, I eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, I drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Let me pray upon the oblation of your church. In recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
may make a blessed and eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant procession in your presence, who are alive for our faith and help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm the faith and charity of your pilgrim church on earth. With your servants, Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who you have summoned before you. In your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Turn to our brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give time and minutes to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy our prayer the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Have the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always and be free from sin and safe from all distress. Be away from us, Lord, the becoming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on my sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. <laughs> Lamb of God, Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm sorry I can't place that in your hand. 
But if you would like to receive communion upon your hand, you may receive in the deacon's line. He will offer communion in the hand in his line. Thank you.
come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to the, those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you now and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, we are in Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name.